Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to talk about my 2022 pre-orders, especially since Barnes & Noble has had a couple of these great 25% off pre-order sales. So what have I pre-ordered? Let's talk about it. So I know this wasn't universal, but at least in the United States, twice this year, Barnes & Noble has done these 25% off all pre-orders sales, which are a pretty good deal if you're a big reader and you like to pre-order books. I will say I am a little picky about my pre-orders because I always know that some books that I want to read I'll get from publishers, some I know are probably going to come in my book of the month box, but I do still pre-order some of the ones that I am most anticipating, and I thought it might be interesting for you guys to know what books have I pre-ordered in 2022. Most of these are from the Barnes & Noble sale, but not all of them. Some of them are just other books that I pre-ordered in the current year. In total, I have 20 pre-orders to talk about for 2022, so we're going to dive into them. And for books that I have pre-ordered and already read, I will let you know my star rating and whether it ended up being positive or negative that I pre-ordered the book. If you've never done a pre-order before, I would recommend it, especially if there's an author that you want to support, because it does signal to the publisher that people are excited about this book and maybe they should continue to have more contracts with that author. I do try to pre-order things when I can. My first pre-order of the year came out in January. This was Digging Up Love by Chandra Bloomberg, a indie published contemporary romance with a paleontologist hero. This sounded like something I would really love. I saw the author post about it on Twitter and was like, yes, I'm going to order that. I have read it and I gave it three stars, so it didn't quite live up to what I was hoping for, but I still enjoyed it. I'm not mad that I pre-ordered it. I'm happy I was able to support this author. Another January pre-order was The Kindred by Alicia. Dow. This is functionally a prequel to her debut novel, although they can be read as standalones. They exist in the same universe. And I loved this. I have read it. I gave it four and a half stars, and I am just going to continue to read whatever Alicia Dow puts out. I really enjoy her brand of soft, happy sci-fi with diverse characters. She has great fat representation, and I just, I really liked this a lot. Another January release was Electric Idol by Katie Robert. This I definitely didn't enjoy as much. I didn't care as much about the romance as I did in book one, and I felt like this was too plot heavy, but I feel like I'm going to be in the minority on that because some people thought that the first one didn't have enough plot, so your mileage on this may vary. I did really love the fat representation in this. I liked the fact that we had a bisexual hero and a bisexual heroine. Um, yeah, like definitely things I liked about it. Not my favorite of her books, but I gave it three stars, and I'm glad that I read it. My final two January pre-orders are ones that I have not yet read, so I don't have a rating to give you. I got the new Berkeley edition of Barbarian Aliens by Ruby Dixon. I want to keep going with the series. I love these new covers and I just I couldn't resist so I pre-ordered that. And then I also pre-ordered Into the Midnight Void by Mara Fitzgerald. I really, really adored Beyond the Ruby Veil. It was one of my favorite books that I read last year and it was so underappreciated. This like chaotic, angry, queer, fantasy story that was like such a quick read and I definitely do want to read this. I need to figure out where I'm going to put it on my TBR because I, I want to pick this up. I feel like it's going to be great. But yeah, definitely underappreciated first book in the series and I want to read this one. In February I had two pre-orders. The first one was Black Love Matters edited by Jessica Pride. This I just read and I really loved it. I gave it four and a half stars. It is a nonfiction essay collection about Black representation in the romance genre. This includes Black Love, which is romance between two or more Black people, but also more broadly topics involving Black representation in the romance genre and the history of Black writers in the romance genre. Really loved it as a collection. And then I also pre-ordered House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Mass. I have a complete reading vlog up for this. I've talked about it at length. This was a four-star read for me. I had a really good time with it, although I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the first book in the series. I think because this was so heavy on plot and didn't give me as much of the characterization that I was hoping for that I really loved in the first book in the series. In March I only had one pre-order and I haven't read it yet although I have been putting it on my TBR because I really want to read it. This is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I feel like I'm gonna love this. It is a YA gothic kind of mystery 
of some sort with really interesting formatting and yeah I don't know I feel like I'm gonna like this one so I do want to read it soon. Then in April I had three pre-orders. First up is the paperback edition of Return of the Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. I read this from my library when it came out in hardcover and I loved it. I it was one of my favorite books of the year the year it came out but I wanted to wait to buy it until it came out in paperback because I wanted a matching set with all my other books in the series which are in paperback so they finally released the paperback edition it, it, it's a fantastic series. The whole series is great. I also pre-ordered Fevered Star by Rebecca Roanhorse. This is one where I had an advanced reader copy. I read it before publication, gave it four stars. I really love the series. Didn't love this installment as much as I did Black Sun, but I still really liked it a lot. This one I had pre-ordered and then, unbeknownst to me, one of you guys actually ordered me a copy as well, which was so kind. So I ended up returning my pre-order, but uh, wanted to put this on there because I did pre-order it because I, I knew that I liked it and wanted to finished copy. My final April pre-order was Summoning Up Love by Sanithia Williams. I read this as an e-arc from NetGalley and gave it four and a half stars, really loved it, and definitely wanted a finished copy, so I pre-ordered a finished copy. I adore Sanithia Williams and I think that the series is really fun, and each book is gonna follow one of three black brothers who are paranormal investigators or like ghost hunters, and our heroine in this one is a skeptic, and I just, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. From there we move into all the books that I have recently pre-ordered through Barnes & Noble that are not out yet, that I haven't read yet, that I'm excited for. So some of the books for the rest of the year that are most on my radar that I was like, yes, I'm pre-ordering this immediately. Coming out May 10th is Miss Rule by Heather Walter. This is the sequel to Malice. It is, oh gosh, I have, I have my ghost ring light back. I think it's because the weather is getting hotter. I think that must be what like sets it off with this weird color change. So my, my haunted ring light is, is back for those who recall this. But yeah, Miss Rule is the sequel to Malice, which I absolutely loved last year, it was one of my favorite books that I read. Uh, not everybody's cup of tea necessarily, but I'm a huge fan of it. This is a reimagining of Sleeping Beauty where the princess falls in love with the evil sorceress who is maybe less evil than misunderstood. And I, I just love it. It's from the perspective of the like evil sorceress girl and the ending to book one was explosive. This is a duology and I can't wait to see how she's gonna wrap it up. I also pre-ordered a comic bind up. This is Superman Son of Kal-El volume one by Tom Taylor. This I had read about and really wanted to pick up because it is the first queer Superman, canonically bisexual, and I, I just want to read it. And I was hearing good things about the individual issues as they were coming out, so I decided to pre-order the bind up. So Superman Son of Kal-El volume one is coming out on May 31st. Then I have pre-ordered both of Tasha Suri's books that are coming out this year because I adore Tasha Suri and will read whatever she writes. Coming out on July 5th is What Souls Are Made Of. This is her first YA book and it is a remix of Wuthering Heights where Heathcliff is Indian. Very excited to see what she does with this. Then on August 16th we're getting The Oleander Sword which is the follow-up to The Jasmine Throne one of my favorite books of 2021, sapphic political fantasy inspired by the history and epics of India. Absolutely loved book one. Can't wait for book two. My allergies have been flaring up really bad this week, so my voice is getting scratchier and scratchier. I may have to like speedily wrap this up because I just filmed another video before this. August 23rd is Babel by R.F. Kuang. I'm so excited for this. It is dark academia fantasy that is subverting dark academia and colonization in some way and I'm very excited for whatever R.F. Guang is bringing us. I did pre-order the Barnes & Noble special edition. September 13th is Known in the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. The Lady in the Ninth was the first book in the series. This is the third book. I adore the series. I love Tamsin Muir and her writing and can't wait to see where the series is gonna go next. September 27th I've pre-ordered House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson. I saw this and immediately was like yes please give it to me. She is the author of The Year of the Witching which I loved. It was my favorite book the year that it came out. This is another gothic horror from her that I think has vampires in it. I am very excited. Lastly I've got two November releases I've pre-ordered. The Luminaries by Susan Dennard. I love Susan Dennard. She's starting a new series. I don't even know that much about it except that the original inspiration came from this Twitter thread kind of like choose your own adventure style very excited. And then lastly coming out November 15th we have a new book from Rebecca Roanhorse. This is Tread of Angels 
and I just really love Rebecca Roanhorse's writing so I'm excited for this. So this one is a dark fantasy noir which is something a little bit different for her. I, I, I don't know exactly what it's going to be about but I am excited for it. So there you go. Those are the 20 books that I have pre-ordered so far in 2022. Let me know if this is of interest. Would you guys be interested in hearing a follow-up video to this at some point of like what other books might I pre-order? There are definitely several others on my short list of books that I may end up pre-ordering. This one from Stephen Graham Jones, this one by Alexa Dunn, and because I'm losing my voice I will just flash up a few other pictures of books that I'm like I may also pre-order these. Oh this one by Lizelle. So excited for this. Anyway um yeah there's some great books coming out. Let me know your thoughts down below and if this was interesting and for your question of the day tell me about a book that you've pre-ordered this year that you're excited for if this is something that you do. Let me know in the comments down below. Sorry y'all seriously like my voice is just done. Thank you, spring allergy season. If you guys like this video, it does help if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.